Today, we're going to quickly demonstrate the ability to look for package and running images in multiple Kubernetes clusters. We're going to search for the package in a small environment of 58 images running across five clusters with a total of 355 workloads. The clusters are running in EKS and DigitalOcean, but they could be running in any cloud or on-prem environment. So let's say, if we set the stage here, that your CEO calls you or CISO calls you before you get to work in the morning after hearing about a new critical CV that will be made public in a few days that affects both curl and libcurl packages. He wants to know where both those packages are and their versions across your Kubernetes environments to begin to understand where you might be exposed and to start to prioritize patching. Seconds after a new image appears in a Kubernetes workload, KSOC scans the image for CVEs and creates a software bill of goods or SBOM. In this case, the list of CVEs will not be helpful because the CVE has not, CVE has not been released yet. You need to search through SBOMs. Simply searching through the SBOMs though isn't enough if you want to understand where the image is uh, with one or both of these packages is running. So we can see here uh, the list of clusters KSOC is monitoring in my environment. Uh, we can see here uh, the list of images running in one or more of these clusters. If you see it here, it means it's running in one of those clusters. Each image has a downloadable SBOM. Uh, KSOC is working on adding an SBOM search function in the UI, but it isn't necessary to wait for that. Everything in the KSOC UI is backed by a public API. Using some simple shell scripting, we provided KSOC customers a tool to search all their image SBOMs for a package and output details about those matching images. So let's take a look at that now. Uh, first, I'm going to um, uh, download all the SBOMs and image resources uh, locally. Uh, let me do that here. Uh, you can see them downloading here for each of the images, ad service, busy box, car services, the, all the image names. Uh, there may be one in here uh, where we didn't have access to this uh, resource. That's my fault for not setting it up. Uh, but all the others should come through just fine. Now, once they're all downloaded locally, then I can search for them locally on my, on my laptop. I don't need to interact with the API because it's already downloaded uh, the image SBOMs and all the uh, correlated information about the image resources. So let's give it a moment here to finish up. And then we're going to first search for curl and then libcurl. Both of them will output the standard out. Uh, but I'll also, I can also redirect that to a CSV, uh, uh, CSV file and open that in Excel. So uh, it looks like we're done here. So I'm going to search for curl. And I'll go ahead and output that now so, so we can look at it. Uh, search curl.csv. And then I'll do the same for uh, libcurl. I could pick any package name I want. I'm just picking these two for this particular example. And let's see, libcurl and libcurl. So I'm just going to open up one of these, but uh, let's list. So I'll just open cur the curl. And here we are. So here, uh, for each package match, I can see the image names, sources, image versions, packet version, or package version, and also the package I was searching for, which will be the same. Uh, workload names, uh, namespaces, and clusters. This allows me to audit all my clusters in just a few minutes, no matter where those clusters are running, and return specifically where the package is in all of my clusters right now. Uh, I hope this has been helpful. If you have any questions, pre please reach out to KSOC.